Hello everyone and welcome back to Quest for You. I'm Janine and this is my podcast that is here to help you find back to yourself because to me this is what life is about, to find answers to our questions, to find meaning and purpose and to become more and better and reach higher than where we are currently and to make a difference ultimately to remember and be remembered so I thank you for making me part of your journey it is an honor that you're dedicating time to me and my podcast and I value that a lot I am very conscious of the fact that our time is limited just like we covered in the last episode So thank you for giving me that time. It means a lot to me. And in episode 13, I talked about meditation. I shared a very simple and pressure-free way to get started. No rules, no expectations, just a way for you to try. And if you did try, great. If not, maybe you feel encouraged after this episode where I want to spend more time on the amazing benefits of meditation and it's episode 30 it's a way to celebrate 30 days of quest for you by talking about meditation why do we need meditation well i could try to sell you on it but i'm not very good at selling i rather would like for you to come to the conclusion that you need meditation in your life if i had to arrange all my podcast episodes into some kind of a picture or drawing I'm imagining building blocks and at the base of it would be meditation. Meditation is the foundation of everything we talk about here on this podcast. You don't need meditation, but if you implement a routine of regular practice, I'm certain that everything else in your life becomes easier and clearer. You see, meditation is like coming home. Home is your base camp your refuge, your starting point, your place of belonging. Home is where you come back to after long journeys, after getting lost, after maybe being hurt, or simply to rest, refresh, and get more energy. It's your inner place of silence and serenity. And meditation is most often the only way through which we allow ourselves to come back home. For most of us, it's the only quiet, non-doing time in our day. The doers and the movers and the shakers have a hard time seeing the benefits of time they consider useless and unproductive. Sitting around doing nothing? Give me a break. I have things to do. The sad part is that they don't realize that meditation would help them perform even better at everything. So first... I want to give you a quick snapshot of the science part of things. In the last decade, research in meditation has increased and the findings show that meditation can produce long-term changes in the brain. As an example, a team led by Harvard-affiliated researchers at Massachusetts General Hospital reported such results in a study that looked at what happens to the brain's gray matter after a period of time of regular meditation. So they took MRI scans of the brains of 16 participants and they did that two weeks prior to the study and then directly afterwards. And the MRI images of the participants were also taken after the study was completed. So there were already earlier studies that had shown that during meditation, physical activity takes place in the brain and in areas like alpha waves. The MRIs of the Harvard study showed something much more permanent. And that was a much denser gray matter in specific regions of the brain that are crucial for learning and memory. So the science supports what many long-term meditators have experienced already, which, among many other things, is a deep sense of mental and physical relaxation. So science finally links how people feel when they meditate with the body, which is the proof that many non-believers need it. So today, 
After many different studies, we know this. Meditation can decrease stress, increase a sense of happiness, and general quality of life. And as we just learned, it increases gray matter in the brain. And it helps you become more compassionate. It helps lower your blood pressure, increases memory, and so much more. So, this is one part. Observable evidence of the benefits of meditating regularly. The second part is what happens to you inside and deep down. And that is difficult to put into a study because it varies from person to person. But I'm going back to what I said in the beginning. Meditation can be your home base, the place where you start everything. And in order to understand what exactly that means, you need to start. I meditate in the mornings and it has honestly changed my life. My experience of meditation will be different from yours. My practice is not the practice that works for everyone. You need to find your own practice. And I will give you a few guidelines and considerations. In episode 13, I started. And today, I'd like to add a few more points from a personal perspective of meditation. The first one is, meditation is not something that you do. It's not another activity on an ad- or an agenda item. And therein lies the clue for you. You should not see it that way. As soon as you see it as just another thing you have to do, then it loses its meaning and effect. You do have to make time for it, so yes, it can be tempting to see it as another thing on your list of things. But if you approach it as something you need to get done, then it won't bring you the results it could. So that is your starting point, the way you approach meditation. Meditation is a solution. It's an answer. It's a cure. Again, I call it home. And if you envision it as such, coming home, then you understand the potential it can have for you. You come home every time you're done with the things that life demanded from you. You come for rest. You come possibly with questions, maybe with confusion. And here is the second important consideration. Meditation answers questions you didn't know you had, and it answers them in unexpected and unique ways. I know this sounds fuzzy, but what I'm trying to say is this. You may turn to meditation with a purpose, maybe because you're stressed. That's great. But meditation will not only show you the path towards reduced stress, you'll also become more aware of other issues. Some may be related to stress, others may be in other areas. Meditation provides you with a foundation to address and resolve whatever it may be that you carry. I can hear you say, well, all of this by simply becoming quiet? And yes, my answer is yes. That's the magic of meditation. By saying magic, I'm exaggerating a little. There isn't really any magic. The simple act of going back to your roots, deep inside, the place where everything started, to me, it just makes a whole lot of sense. That is where our strength lies. Think about it. All day long we live in our heads, and we believe we can figure it all out from there. We run around doing stuff, or we turn our brain off completely to the currents of other people's lives, mostly through social media, television, any media. And meditation to me is right there in between. You don't turn your brain off, but you stop the current of thoughts flowing and you turn your attention inward. You focus on presence and you listen for guidance. That to me is meditation. Through meditation, the mind can achieve experiences that it cannot get to in any other way, such as that inner silence and that expanded awareness. You see, your brain reflects every aspect of your mind. And with, regular, with a regular practice of meditation, the mind becomes sane, resilient, and renewed. And through this renewal, just like when you come home, you uncover inner struggles and you find answers to your questions. There are many approaches to meditation and I will cover them in future episodes. But if you're starting out, I recommend guided meditations. They're called guided because someone walks you through the meditation and your thoughts follow the words and sounds that you hear. 
Usually the goal of these words is to help you focus on the present moment and relax. The good thing about guided meditation, it also helps you stay on track with your thoughts. I find that meditation in complete silence is harder for me because it's really just you and your mind. But I encourage you to try both. You may find silence more soothing. And when it comes to guided meditation, you also have to find what speaks to you. Every guided meditation is different depending on the person's leading it. So in episode 13, I kind of gave you a little bit of a guideline of how to get started. Use that and start that way. And if you want more, go search out for more. Look for apps or look for meditations online that you can follow. There's different ways and different approaches. The most important one is to get started. And like I always say, start small. Two minutes if that's all you have. Or if that's all you can handle in silence, then perfect. You start with that. If you do that every day, you eventually may want to increase it. I want to end this episode with a quote from a spiritual teacher called Osho. I'm simply saying there is a way to be sane. I'm saying that you can get rid of all this insanity created by the past in you just by being a simple witness of your thought processes. It is simply sitting silently, witnessing the thoughts passing before you, just witnessing, not interfering, not even judging, because the moment you judge, you have lost the pure witness. The moment you say, this is good, this is bad, you have already jumped into the thought process. It takes a little time to create a gap between the witness and the mind. Once the gap is there, you're in for a great surprise. That you are not the mind. That you are the witness, a watcher. And this process of watching is the very alchemy of real religion. Because as you become more and deeply rooted in witnessing, thoughts start disappearing. You are, but the mind is utterly empty. That's the moment of enlightenment. That is the moment that you become for the first time an unconditioned, sane, really free human being. I really like this because it it kind of takes what I talked about a step further of what can happen if you really get into this practice of meditation. And I would like to encourage you to just maybe... Take a couple minutes now and sit in quiet and and just breathe and be present. Have an amazing day. Until next time.